Mole, unit. The mole is the unit of measurement for amount of substance in the International System of Units, SI. Effective May 20, 2019, the mole is defined as the amount of a chemical substance that contains exactly, Avogadro's constant, constitutive particles, for example, atoms, molecules, ions or electrons. This definition was adopted in November of 2018, revising its old definition based on the number of atoms in 12 grams of carbon 12, c, the isotope of carbon with standard atomic weight 12 by definition. The mole is an SI base unit, with the unit symbol mole. The mole is widely used in chemistry as a convenient way to express amounts of reactants and products of chemical reactions. For example, the chemical equation can be interpreted to mean that two moles dihydrogen, H, and one mole dioxygen, O, react to form two moles water, HO. The mole may also be used to represent the number of atoms, ions, or other entities in a given sample of a substance. The concentration of a solution is commonly expressed by its molarity defined as the amount of dissolved substance per unit volume of solution, for which the unit typically used is moles per liter, mole slash L. The term gram molecule was formerly used for essentially the same concept. The term gram atom has been used for a related but distinct concept, namely a quantity of a substance that contains Avogadro's number of atoms, whether isolated or combined in molecules. Thus, for example, one mole of Mg branch is 1 gram molecule of MgBr but 3 gram atoms of MgBr. Amount of substance is a measure of the quantity of substance proportional to the number of its entities. The mole is defined by International Bureau of Weights and Measures as. Thus, by definition, one mole of pure C has a mass of exactly 12 grams. However, on November 16, 2018, after a meeting of scientists from more than 60 countries at the General Conference on Weights and Measures in Versailles, France, organized by the International Bureau of Weights and Measures, BIPM, all SI units will be defined as constants. This means that any SI unit, including the mole, will not be defined using physical objects but rather they will be defined by constants that are, in their nature, exact. Such changes will officially come into effect on May 20, 2019. For example, one mole of hydrogen atoms, will be defined as containing of hydrogen atoms in it, weighing exactly 1.008 grams, same as the R of one hydrogen atom. The molar mass of a substance is the mass of a sample divided by the amount of substance in that sample. This is a constant for any given substance. Since the unified atomic mass unit, symbol, U, or ta, is defined as one twelfth of the mass of the C atom, it follows that the molar mass of a substance, measured in grams per mole, is numerically equal to its mean atomic or molecular mass expressed in the One can determine the amount of a known substance, in moles, by dividing the sample's mass by the substance's molar mass. Other methods include the use of the molar volume or the measurement of electric charge. The mass of one mole of a substance depends not only on its molecular formula, but also on the proportions within the sample of the isotopes of each chemical mint present in it. For example, one mole of calcium 40 is whereas 1 mole of calcium-42 is, and 1 mole of calcium with the normal isotopic mix is. Since the definition of the gram is not, mathematically tied to that of the atomic mass unit, the number of molecules per mole n, the Avogadro constant must be determined experimentally. The value adopted by CODATA in 2010 is. In 2011 the measurement was refined to. Mass and volume, properties of matter, are often used to quantify a sample of a substance. However, the volume changes with temperature and pressure. Similarly, due to relativistic effects, the mass of a sample changes with temperature, speed, or gravity. This effect is very small at low temperature, speed, or gravity, but at high speed, like in a particle accelerator or theoretical spacecraft, the change is significant. The amount of substance remains the same regardless of temperature, pressure, speed, or gravity, unless a chemical or nuclear reaction changes the number of particles. The history of the mole is intertwined with that of molecular mass, atomic mass unit, Avogadro number and related concepts. The first table of standard atomic weight, atomic mass, was published by John Dalton, 1766-1844, in 1805, based on a system in which the relative atomic mass of hydrogen was defined as 1. These relative atomic masses were based on the stoichiometric proportions of chemical reaction and compounds, a fact that greatly aided their acceptance. It was not necessary for a chemist to subscribe to atomic theory, an unproven hypothesis at the time, 
to make practicalis of the tables. This would lead to some confusion between atomic masses, promoted by proponents of atomic theory, and equivalent weights, promoted by its opponents and which sometimes differed from relative atomic masses by an integer factor, which would last throughout much of the 19th century. John Jacob Berzelius, 1779-1848, was instrumental in the determination of relative atomic masses to ever-increasing accuracy. He was also the first chemist to use oxygen as the standard to which other masses were referred. Oxygen is a useful standard, as, unlike hydrogen, it forms compounds with most other elements, especially metals. However, he chose to fix the atomic mass of oxygen as 100, which did not catch on. Charles Frederick Gerhardt, 1816-56, Henri Victor Rignot, 1810-78 and Stanislaw Konitsaro, 1826-1910, expanded on Berzelius' works, resolving many of the problems of unknown stoichiometry of compounds, and the use of atomic masses attracted a large consensus by the time of the Karlsruhe Congress, 1860. The convention had reverted to defining the atomic mass of hydrogen as one, although at the level of precision of measurements at that time, relative uncertainties of around 1%, this was numerically equivalent to the later standard of oxygen equals 16. However the chemical convenience of having oxygen as the primary atomic mass standard became ever more evident with advances in analytical chemistry and the need for ever more accurate atomic mass determinations. Developments in mass spectrometry led to the adoption of oxygen-16 as the standard substance, in lieu of natural oxygen. The old definition of the mole, based on carbon-12, was approved during the 1960s. The four different definitions were equivalent to within 1%. The name mole is an 1897 translation of the German unit mole, coined by the chemist Wilhelm Ostwald in 1894 from the German word molecule, molecule. However, the related concept of equivalent mass had been in use at least a century earlier. The mole was made the 7th SI base unit in 1971 by the 14th CGPM. At the 26th CGPM the definition of the mole was changed from a number derived from a weight, the number of atoms in 12 grams of carbon-12, c, to directly being equal to Avogadro's constant. Since its adoption into the international system of units in 1971, Numerous criticisms of the concept of the mole as a unit like the meter or the second have arisen. In chemistry, it has been known since Proust's Law of Definite Proportions, 1794, that knowledge of the mass of each of the components in a chemical system is not sufficient to define the system. Amount of substance can be described as mass divided by Proust's definite proportions, and contains information that is missing from the measurement of mass alone. As demonstrated by Dalton's Law of Partial Pressures, 1803, a measurement of mass is not even necessary to measure the amount of substance, although in practice it is usual. There are many physical relationships between amount of substance and other physical quantities, the most notable one being the ideal gas law, where the relationship was first demonstrated in 1857. The term mole was first used in a textbook describing these colligative properties. Chemical engineers use the unit extensively, and decimal multiples may be more suitable for industrial use. For convenience in avoiding conversions in the imperial, or American customary units, some engineers adopted the pound mole, notation pound to mole or old mole, which is defined as the number of entities in 12 pounds of C1 pound to mole is equal to, which value is the same as the number of grams in an international laboratory poise pound. In the metric system, chemical engineers once used the kilogram mole, notation kg mole, which is defined as the number of entities in 12 kilograms of C and often referred to the mole as the gram mole, notation g mole, when dealing with laboratory data. Late 20th century chemical engineering practice came to use the kilomole, gmol, which is numerically identical to the kilogram mole, but whose name and symbol adopt the SI convention for standard multiples of metric units, thus, gmol means 1000 moles. This is analogous to the use of kg instead of g. The use of GMOL is not only for magnitude convenience but also makes the equations used for modeling chemical engineering systems coherent. For example, the conversion of a flow rate of kg slash s to GMOL slash s only requires the molecular mass without the factor 1000 unless basic SI unit of mole per second were to be used. Concentrations expressed as GMOL slash m are numerically the same as those in mole slash gm i.e. the molarity conventionally used by chemists for bench measurements. This equality can be convenient when scaling up. 
Greenhouse and growth chamber lighting for plants is sometimes expressed in micromoles per square meter per second, where 1 mole photons equals photons. In 2011, the 24th meeting of the General Conference on Weights and Measures, CGPM, agreed to a plan for a possible revision of the SI base unit definition set an undetermined date. The 26th meeting of the CGPM, in a formal vote on November 16, 2018, approved the proposed redefinition of SI base units mole, kilogram, ampere and kelvin. One mole of a substance will have exactly specified elementary entities of that substance. The definition of the mole will no longer based on mass, and the new definitions will take effect May 20, 2019. The SI units for molar concentration are mole slash m. However, most chemical literature traditionally uses mole slash dm, or mole dm, which is the same as mole slash l. These traditional units are often denoted by a capital letter m, pronounced molar, sometimes preceded by an SI prefix, for example, millimoles per liter, mole slash l or millimolar, m, micromole slash liter, micromole slash l, or micromolar, micrometer, or nanomole slash l, mole slash l, or nanomolar, and m. The demol, d, is an obsolete unit for expressing the concentration of a solution. It is equal to molar concentration at 0 degrees Celsius, i.e., 1d represents 1 mole of the solute present in 1 cubic decimeter of the solution at 0 degrees Celsius. It was first proposed in 1924 as a unit of concentration based one decimeter rather than the liter, at the time there was a factor of 1.000028 difference between the liter and the cubic decimeter. The demol was used as a unit of concentration in electrolytic conductivity primary standards. These standards were later redefined in terms of molar concentration. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.